and welcome back to Champy Travels. A lot of people think that traveling is so expensive and so they put it on the side. But traveling the world does not always need to be that expensive. Here are my proven 9 tips on traveling the world on a tight budget. to experience a destination and actually have it budget conscious, even if it's somewhere very close or far away from home. 9 tips on traveling the world on a budget. Make a plan for your trip. Traveling spontaneously is amazing if you actually have the time and the money to do so. But when you're traveling on a budget, it actually becomes so crucial to be able to have something planned in advance. By having a rough idea of how long you want to stay in the place you visit, or have kind of the itinerary that you want to make, that is already a fantastic plus. It doesn't have to be extremely specific, but already by having a rough plan, it really helps you out to know about your expenses on your trip. And that means less unexpected spends once you are there, as well as getting better deals on flights and accommodations and other things in advance. Traveling out of season. Avoiding trips during the busy holidays is so ideal, as this is when the travel industry's prices are generally high. And not only will it be more expensive, but it will also be sharing your time and your precious holidays with lots of people. I don't know about you, but I love to have the time more for myself and have the places that I want to visit less crowded. Researching the place that you're gonna go to is so important prior to visit, because then you can also know when the prices are cheaper than normal and then have some major your savings. Hotels and airlines normally lower their prices when the season is lower, so you can maybe even find great deals and be able to save even more. Go to less known destinations. It's crazy how much you can save when you actually choose to go to the next town rather than the touristic one. Of course, there is a reason why everybody wants to go to these touristic towns. They are beautiful, they have plenty of things to do, but that doesn't mean that those towns around don't have the same or kind of the same experiences. And also touristic places can become an absolute nightmare to your experience. Expenses. So wherever you choose to visit, being an unknown destination, there will be equally incredible things to do, to see, food to try, people to meet and culture to know. And slowly, these off the beaten path destinations are becoming more and more known, which means more tourists in the long run. So it's important to start to discover them while they're still not so full of people. And also your wallet will thank you so much for it. Booking your accommodation in advance. Try to book your stays as much in advance as possible, as you will normally get the best rates this way. Also, the closer you are to the main attractions or the city center, the more expensive it tends to be. So it's important to try and look for other options that may be a little bit farther away from these places. But always check that you're close to some sort of public transportation that can take you around. If not, it can actually become more expensive than just spending your time in the city center or near main tourist attractions. If you're traveling on the go, then going to apps such as Hotel Tonight or Hostel World may be a great idea, as they often have pretty good deals on places to stay for the night. Use local transport or walk. Opting for utilizing the public transportation wherever you are, such as bus, tram, or asking around for the cheapest alternatives is a must when on your trips. Always ask about the cheapest form of transportation, as sometimes, depending on where you are, there may be some sort of taxi companies or Uber alternatives that may be actually the same price as local transportation. So it's always important to check and ask wherever is the place that you are going to go. Live the local experiences. Try squeezing in as many local experiences that you can while you are at the destination. Many of the sightseeings around the city or town that you're visiting may be free and it's important to take advantage of that. And this might also mean choosing local destinations, places that are closer from home. It is incredible to be able to experience and explore cities, towns and regions that are close to where we live. It is actually an incredible experience and definitely the price are much lower because I'm choosing something regional instead of going abroad. That is something that I've been doing in Mexico, just going and exploring more of my country it has actually saved me a lot of money by seeing incredible places. Opt for slow travel. Staying longer periods of time in a destination may actually save you a lot of money. By booking longer stays, the prices decrease significantly. You normally do not need to pay for transportation from one place to the next as you're staying longer in one, and you get to experience the local culture way more deeply. It's a fantastic way to get the real feel of the place, to try the local cuisine, to get to know more local people, and to actually get better deals from where you are. Be flexible with food. One of the best ways to be budget-free 
friendly when traveling is being very flexible on what you eat. Try the night bazaars or the local food stalls where the food is freshly cooked in front of you. By searching for local food options such as street food, not only are your costs staying low, but you also get to experience the local cuisine in a very enriching way. Another great option is to buy food and cook it where you are staying. This can actually save you a lot of money and you can actually make things that you enjoy eating too. Volunteering projects. There are so many amazing opportunities around the world where you can volunteer and there are some incredible things that you can get from it. First of all, you'll be able to experience life as a local while you're there. Help out with a project that is much needed in the region or the town that you're visiting. You will get to make new friendships, learn new skills and get free accommodations so that your costs stay low while traveling. A very cool place that I really recommend where you can do this type of volunteering is World Packers, a community for safe volunteering around the world that has so many options. Whether you're looking for something in the city or out in the countryside, they have so many options to choose from. It is important to know that these volunteering projects may require you to stay longer periods of time, so it's just important to keep that in mind. It normally requires for you to stay at least one week, but you can even stay in these places for up to two or three months. It's an incredible experience to experience locally the destination and to be part of an amazing project. Traveling our countries and the world is such an eye-opening experience. It completely changes the way you interact with the world and that you get connected with experiences that are so enriching. It's so important to remember to always be mindful when exploring and visiting new places, to respect the environments and the communities that you are at, and to generally connect so that you can have a more rewarding experience. So where is your next budget-friendly destination going to be? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as subscribing to the channel to get more inspiration about traveling the world and traveling our countries mindfully. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one!